Hello viewers and IELTS aspirants. Here is yet another useful video as a part of the ongoing IELTS video lesson series. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a conclusion for writing task two essay. So let's start. As we know that the essay writing task is a major task that goes on for 40 minutes, the objective here is to write an essay on the given topic. And this layout is now quite familiar to us as we have used it quite a number of times now. We have already learned how to write essay introductions and body paragraphs. If you haven't watched those videos yet, please do. In this video, we are going to shed light on the structure of the conclusion. An important thing to understand here, the structure of the conclusion changes according to the task type. To illustrate, an opinion-based question will have a different written conclusion than an argumentative essay type. But the motive of the conclusion remains the same, which is to summarize the essay. Also in the upcoming videos, we will provide you with a very easy to follow essay format and paragraph structure for each essay question type. So you don't need to worry about varying the structure of the conclusion. In this video, we will take a look at the fundamental layouts of the conclusion. The conclusion paragraph should be written within 35 to 45 words. It should be concise as its name suggests. Here's a basic structure of the conclusion. Every conclusive paragraph should have a link in the beginning to clearly signal the reader that this is the summary and the essay ends here. The linker helps in signposting and also contributes to the progression of the essay. If you haven't watched the video on linkers and discourse markers, please do watch it. Once we begin with a concluding linker, we can present a summary of the body paragraphs. Perhaps one line from each para would work. It is absolutely optional to present the writer's label in the end if the task type has not asked for it. Some teachers recommend it while others don't. It is entirely up to you if you want to add that part. There is no harm in that. A very important point to note here is that the conclusion should be a summary, not too long or carrying too many details. There is no need to copy every single idea presented in the body paragraph. Also, no new ideas are supposed to be added to the conclusion. After all, it is just going to be a much shorter paraphrased version of what has been written earlier. Let's understand the conclusion better with the help of an example. Here is a sample essay question with the topic on the top and the task below. The topic reads, in recent years, work from home culture has become more popular and the task is to tell the advantages and disadvantages of this trend. To make things easier, let's play the key items against the structure. There are multiple ways to begin a conclusion. You could say to conclude, to summarize, or to recapitulate. There are many more linkers for the same purpose, but remember, a couple of these since we need to write just one conclusion in the ICE writing exam. The second element requires a one or two liner summary of ideas picked from body one and body two. Finally, the optional point is the writer's position. Let's write the conclusion with the help of these elements. For those who want to write the conclusions on their own, you will first need to write bodies to pick ideas from. Here for this video and just for your understanding, we have skipped those stages and jumped on to writing the conclusion. As discussed, first we need to use a concluding linker. We have chosen in conclusion for this ask. Now we have body 1 plus body 2 summary which goes, although working from home allows employees to generate income from the comfort of their homes, it does does have drawbacks which might lead to some health and social issues in the future. Now that's the summary. Very concise, to the point and included all the relevant ideas. It easily helps the reader grab the gist of the entire essay in only a couple of sentences. And this sample is exactly 35 words long. Alright, a few points to remember while writing the conclusion. No new idea should be presented in the conclusion. Please remember. Any ideas which are not a part of any body paragraph should not be introduced in the conclusion. Make sure you answer all parts of the task in this paragraph. If the question has asked for your personal opinion, then it should be presented in the conclusion. The conclusion should be concise and to the point. No illustration, examples or explanations here. Ideas from bodies must be paraphrased. Repetition of language in terms of lexical resources and sentence structures may affect your scores and individual parameters. If you haven't watched the videos on paraphrasing, please do watch it later. And finally, make sure you do not make your conclusion too wordy by adding unnecessary details. Hope you found this video helpful. We will soon be back with more such useful content. Till then, keep watching and keep practicing. 